My name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to estimate the square root with big numbers. So, if we have a big number, like 576, say, and we want to estimate what the square root is, we can try to look for other large numbers which we do know the square root of. So, for example, we know that 576 is less than 900 and larger than 400. And we know that the square root of 400 is equal to 20 pretty easily. And that the square root of 900 is equal to 30. So we know that the square root of 576 must lie somewhere in between these two numbers. The next step you could do is to take a look at the units place here, if you know that the square root exists as a whole number, and ask, well, what number when squared has a six in the units place? Turns out that there are two numbers. There's four, when you square it, you get 16, and there's also six. When you square six, you get 36. So, we could have either 24 or 26 be the square root of 576. And if we wanted to, we could either take the average of these or we could actually check directly. If we square 24, it turns out we get exactly 576. So we know from these easy limits that are easily calculable that the square root had to be between 20 and 30 and we used the other places as guidance for what exactly that number should be. Alternatively, if you have some large number, say 9,673, and you wanted to get an order of magnitude estimate, for what the square root should be, then you can simply round it to the nearest 10,000 here. And you see that this is equal to the square root of 10 raised to the fourth power. So you have 10 raised to 4 divided 2 here. And that's simply equal to 10 to the second power, or 100. So this would be an estimation for the square root of this very large number that is close to something that can easily be taken the square root of. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to estimate square root with big numbers.